Welcome to another podcast of Master Investor Company. Glad to be here again with another valuable talk on business, business, and business, right? We're going to be speaking about business because if you're interested in investing, then you got to know business. Investing is business. You cannot have investing without business. So the better we understand business, the better we are at investing, okay? And here at Master Investor, we teach and show everyone to invest for passive income, to focus on building our asset column with cash flowing assets that produce passive income, aka positive cash flow. Very important to expand our vocabulary of business daily because words are the most powerful tools human ever created and so if we can have a broader vocabulary on money then we're going to be able to attract more wealth into our lives just like a doctor or like an attorney they have their own lingo well the wealthy we also have our own lingo okay and wealth is measured with the time that you have to do whatever you want without having to worry about a job or paying the bills uh, and that is achieved through assets right and so remember your asset column must be filled with assets and you, if you don't have any you need to focus on getting your first asset and it could be something digital it could be a system of systems that you have put together right because all the systems are created for us so you don't need to know coding and any of it in in fact, when we are building a business, we always recommend everyone to learn how to delegate. Okay, we are generalists, meaning that we know a little about everything so that we can hire the right people in place and we can free ourselves of small tasks that other people can do with more passion. They are specialists and we are generalists, right? Because we are interested in solving problems in the marketplace. However, once we achieve that, we want freedom. We want total freedom. We want to be able to build something again or invest in a different asset class, right? And so it's important that you always ask yourself this question. When you build a business, can this business run without me being involved in it? Can it be put on autopilot, right? How fast can I do that? Uh, when you're investing into something, you want to ask yourself, how fast would I get my money back? And how much thereafter would I get an infinite return on investment, right? Infinite return on investment is when you have invested some capital into an investment and you have recouped that capital back and you still get positive cash flow after you have recouped your entire investment back. So infinite return investment is what we're looking for when we are talking about investing and having a successful business, right? And, uh, and that is when we are printing money legally because we have achieved infinite return investment. We don't have any money of ours in the deal anymore and we're still getting paid in the form of passive income. So you need to figure out a plan that you can start doing today, right? If you don't have a plan, that's your task for the day. Write down the plan. How are you going to get wealthy? How are you going to create your first asset? What are your passions? What is your purpose in life? All of these things, you can write them down on a piece of paper and figure out what interest do you have in solving a problem that you spot in the marketplace, okay? So be comfortable with solving problems. And make sure you also be comfortable by being uncomfortable because you're growing every day. If you're feeling too comfortable, that means you're not growing. You gotta put yourself in environments and also uh, you gotta be educating yourself, doing self-development so that you can grow. Environments that are new so that it makes us grow, right? And I'm talking about environments that are healthy for where you're heading to, okay? So you gotta figure out your plan, figure out 
what environments are around you that you can involve yourself with and grow. Okay, it's all about self-growth here. So if you're interested in becoming a true leader and a master investor, you need to work on self-development and also people development. You need to be good, actually great with others. You need to understand people's emotions, how to deal with them, because business is all about people. Right? We want to have customers that will give us their money because we are offering something of value to them. We're solving a problem that they have. And they're going with us because we are providing value to them. We can explain the solution better than any other competitor. We are unique, we are innovating. In today's age, innovation will help you grow among the competition. You gotta stay innovating, creating something new, creating a new solution, maybe be more efficient, right? With the existing solution, figure out how you can use less resources, provide more value and serve more people at the same time. How can you do that, right? All of these things you can answer on a piece of paper and you can uh, work on building your asset column every day. But if you don't have a plan, if you don't have the right mindset, and if you don't have the right people around you, it's gonna be very hard for you to create financial independence. That means that you don't depend on a job that gives you a paycheck to pay your bills. That means that you have an asset or more than one asset producing you passive income and that passive income is paying for your bills, okay? So when you reach financial independence, then you can start focusing on doubling down on your financial education on building more your asset column so now it becomes wealth building because you're not working for earned income you don't need a job you have assets that are producing you passive income because you're solving or your business is solving a problem in the marketplace and then from there you're finding other problems that you want to solve or you're figuring out how you can scale that existing business that is producing you the passive income that is helping you pay your bills so you can scale a business to the next level and create more wealth because every business, you can also add assets into that asset column of that business. Every business has a financial statement and every person has a financial statement. So when you are wanting to invest into something, you wanna know the financial statement of that operation. So remember, well, the, uh, the ability to read financial statements is a foundation of true wealth. That is what is going to make you wealthy because you will have the advantage of knowing if something is a sound asset or something is a liability. You're gonna be able to tell whether that business that you're looking to acquire is something that you can scale, something that you can manage better than the current owner. If you're buying a real estate property, for example, and you're looking at the paperwork and you're looking at how much is cash flowing every month after all expenses are paid and the mortgage service is taken out, that's the cash flow. And you can say, well, if I add laundry and dryers and I paint and I do this, right? Or you pay somebody to do all of that and I add that into that building or that commercial real estate property that you're acquiring, then I can raise the rent, you know, 10 times more or whatever it is. But you can tell by reading the financial statement whether you can do that or not. And so you can spot opportunities where there is crisis in a business. And some businesses are just bad businesses and you don't wanna get into, but the ability to read the financial statement of yourself in a business will give you an unfair advantage to tell whether you want to get involved with that asset and you'll be able to see the real story behind that asset, regardless of what the salesperson who's trying to sell the business to you is telling you because the numbers don't lie. So a lot of people don't even know that a financial statement exists for them. We all have a financial statement, okay? And like I said, a business and an investment has also a financial statement. So you gotta learn how to read those. And it's simple, it's not something that is 
rocket science, anyone can do this. If you take the time to look at your financial statement, you're gonna learn how to read a business financial statement because it's basically the same thing. It has income, it has expenses, it has a liability column, it has an asset column. And then in there, you'll be able to figure out how the cash flow is flowing through that financial statement and how healthy it is, okay? So I want you to take from this podcast that you can start today. We have artificial intelligence. We have resources available to us. We have Google. We have everything that we didn't have 50 years ago. So in reality, you have all the tools in front of you to begin building your passive income and understanding how to create a brand, how to build your brand, how to build networks instead of looking for a job just like 90% of the population do, okay? You can work at a job that you love. There's nothing wrong with being an employee, but if you want to create freedom in your life and you want to retire from your job at some point and still be able to enjoy life, then you need to have passive income. So whether you love your job and let's say you're an attorney or you're a doctor and you love it, you may want to think about in the future and say, well, maybe I don't want to do this forever. I want to do this for the next 10 years and then have passive income because maybe you created a medicine to solve a disease of a million people, right? And that medicine is being provided through the pharmacy. So you can become a doctor that turns into an entrepreneur and your own passion, right? And so figure out your passions. That's why I said earlier on this podcast, learn how to capitalize on your passions, but don't become the product yourself, okay? Do self-development, add value into you, but you want to also understand how to use systems. So if you want to sell something, you want to create or acquire systems that will do the selling and telling for you. And you wanna see yourself out the business, out the operation, and that operation can run even when you're not there and even while you're sleeping, it's still paying you passive income, okay? So we talk about delegation, right? You wanna learn how to delegate to other people, to a specialist, because we are generalists. We know a little about everything. A specialist know a lot about one thing, okay? So that's number one point that I want you to take from this podcast. Be a generalist, not a specialist, if you want to truly become wealthy, okay? And create freedom in your life, right? Number two, learn how to read financial statements. Very important because that will give you the foundation of true wealth. Number three, work on building passive income by acquiring assets in your asset column that your company control, right? You're gonna learn how to do business with a company. A company represents you on paper, but it doesn't mean that it has to have, uh, that it has to have your name and the company, okay? Try, try uh, attempt to think of a name that is appealing to the world. Know your, know your own name because you want to create a brand and you want to create something that will last here forever, okay? Um, some people are successful with their last name and so forth, but I personally don't recommend it because I want you to understand that you want to create freedom for you, okay? You don't want to be the product. And so if you think of an idea, write it down, create a plan, and execute it. That's point number four, right? So if you have something in mind, write a plan down, write the idea on a piece of paper and figure out, can that business run without you being in there? And what do you need to do that? How can you get started right now? How can you get your first client? How can you put the message in front of the right people that has the, that have the problem that you're looking to solve? So understanding people is point number five, right? Because business is all about people. Okay, so that's what I want you to take from this podcast. I hope that it's been helpful, bringing you the good and bad news of money, the business principles that work in all economies. I'm going to be doing another podcast tomorrow. And if you're listening for the first time, welcome to our community here at Master Investor. Our mission is to elevate the financial well-being of humanity through high quality financial education made simple. We're looking for opportunities to build 
passive income and true wealth. Okay, so Master Investor is more than an investment management company. Okay, we deliver high quality financial education through podcasts. We have digital courses. We have a magazine that is going to be published in the next weeks. Uh, every month we'll have an issue come out and it's going to have different um, surprises within that magazine. You can also have it digitally. So. Uh, we're working on all of that. We are the brand of money, business, and investing. And remember, we all have an investor inside of us. It is up to you and I how we turn that investor to be. Whether it's going to be an average investor, like 90% of the population, because they lack financial education, or you're going to turn that investor into a master investor because you have financial education. And a master investor is someone that receives passive income. And the only way you can achieve that is through financial education. Because a lot of people that invest without financial education, they are investing for capital gains income. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can make a lot of money on capital gains income. But often times you end up losing money because you didn't have the education to actually acquire the sound investment so and it's almost like you're gambling in the world of money you don't want to be a gambler you want to be the master of money not the slave of money don't chase the bag let the bag chase you and you can do that by creating pipelines of passive income because you are spotting opportunities catching on new trends and putting systems together to solve a problem in that niche and because you're doing that successfully, then in return, you have passive income. And that is a master investor. So someone that has financial education, knows how to read financial statements, understands what is an asset and a liability, understands how to raise capital and many other attributes. But the result of all of this is that we have passive income coming in. So. The question is, what type of investor do you want to be? There are different types of investor, and I'm encouraging you to turn that investor inside of you a master investor. Okay, start raising your financial IQ today here with us, a master investor. Share this content with others. Leave a question if you have one. If you wanna get one of our digital courses, go to our website, masterinvestor.education. I'm gonna put the link down in the description, and I will see you or talk to you on the next podcast. Follow us on all social media platforms and stay connected to business and investing because money is a game that we're gonna be playing for the rest of our life. So bring that master investor out of you, right? And double down on your financial education because financial education is passive income. Thank you for listening and I'll see you or talk to you next time and stay great.